Hi everybody, I'm Luca Malizan. I worked as a colorist uh, in the comic book industry for many years and uh, I developed uh, a workflow that I think is very efficient for coloring black and white line art, my drawings and also drawings uh, made by many artists uh, from all over the world. And uh, I explained my workflow in uh, my tutorial Coloring Line Art for Comics, a quick start tutorial that you can find on my Gumroad. And um, this is an example uh, of uh, this uh, workflow. You can see a file with a lot of layers and I explain in the other tutorials uh, the meaning of that. But uh, since I have a background as a software engineer, uh, I always uh, use uh, scripts to uh, save me a lot of time and to automate uh, the, the tedious work that is uh, behind uh, working on thousands of pages. Uh, and so I want to share uh, with you a couple of scripts uh, that I use a lot when I color comics. And uh, the first one, uh, the scripts are two uh, because uh, I divide in two parts the workflow. The first part is here from scan to flats. Uh, it uh, creates the PSD file that uh, I provide to my flatters that do the flat colors. Uh, here uh, in a folder you have a project uh, with your uh, scan, uh, with your pages uh, you in uh, black and white, line black and white. And it's very easy to use, it just uh, select the pages that you want to work on and drag them on the script. You will be requested uh, with the resolution of the final images to create. Uh, it's uh, already uh, with the 300 dpi. I hit OK. And uh, you can see that uh, Photoshop starts to work uh, all by himself and creates all the layers that uh, I need when I have to start. And so you just have to wait for Photoshop to finish. When the script has finished, it uh, gives you this message with uh, 11 files, zero errors. And so now, if we go and see uh, our um, folder with the line art is the same, but in the parent folder you can find all the PSD files that the script has created. So for example, let's open this and uh, you can see here that uh, all the, the layers have been created. Let's say that this is uh, the file that uh, the Flutter uh, created for me with all the flat colors. This is just an example, is the, the worst uh, flat colors that I've ever seen. And uh, when I receive the, the flats, uh, it's uh, the time to use the other script. And uh, so the second one, is from flats to final is the same thing you have to select all your files uh, let's just take five just as an example and drop on the other one and now as before Photoshop works all by himself and creates all the layers that are needed As before, five files, zero errors. If I go and open the same page again, I can see that some layers have been added at the stack. 
In particular, I have the la uh, layers for shadows, layers for lights, and one layer on top for the effects. And so now it's just a matter of uh, starting doing something uh, and starting coloring uh, how these uh, scripts are made. Let's open the first one. And uh, the most important part is here. The, the, um, at the very beginning, there are some parameters. Uh, you can change here the resolution of the files to create, but uh, it's a number that you can change also when you run the script. It's the free under the, that is uh, already written. You can change the name of the line art layer. You can change the names of the flatting layers. Uh, they will be called uh, with this string uh, and numbers after. So flats one, flats two, flats three. And uh, these are the number of uh, flat layers to create. It's uh, four for me usually. The last one will have uh, another color. So let's see for a moment the other one. And uh, here you see you have uh, the, the same things, uh, the name for the layers mainly, uh, line art, effects, plats, uh, and uh, the number of layer to create for shadows and for lights. Usually I create two layers for shadow and one layer for lights. And uh, the last one uh, here is the color in the background. Usually you want white, and so it's uh, 255, 255, 255 for white. You feel free to read uh, and if you want to change the rest of the script, but uh, you will find a lot of uh, Italian uh, inside. The, uh, only the first part is translated in English. It works on Windows, uh, and uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't think it can run on Mac. But uh, feel free to to try and tell me. So, if you are interested in this, you can find it on my Gumroad. Uh, I provide the link uh, in this video. Thank you for watching, and uh, see you next time.